Hi students, I want to talk about chapter one, exercise number 10. As you're doing this problem, uh, one of the first things, you, as you can see, and you know, it's telling you about we're using key three, that's going to be this mod 29 wheel over here, and we're going to multiply each value by six to do the uh, encoding uh, process. So, uh, now of course, wait a second, it was actually encoded using multiplication to get that H comma X comma U and R. So, what we're going to need to do, we actually need to divide by 6. So, as you're looking at this, well, first thing you're going to need to do is actually enter the number. So, uh, and we can tap on the wheel right here, and I'll zoom in a little bit for you to see that better. So, the comma, that's uh, the 26, okay. And the X is 23, the comma again for 26. If I accidentally tap something else, it will tell me I'm wrong. It will let me proceed, and that's fine. So, 17, good. So, now... Um, you need to understand that the 7 was arrived at by multiplying by 6. I'm going backwards. I need to take 7 and divide it by 6. Here is where this multiplication table is going to help. We need to figure out what would you multiply uh, times 7 that, or excuse me, what would you multiply times 6 to get to the 7? So that is, uh, as we look in our uh, row here, and, and it's, uh, there we go, let me tap, uh, wrong row, sorry, I, I was trying to tap next to it. Uh, this works, no, 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 there we go, there, there we go, six. Um, good, so as you can see, as you can see on this, uh, what number would you multiply times six to get to seven? It's actually six, six times six is seven. So if I cross this out here, uh, I really, what I needed to do is select the six and that fills in that box. So the comma was the 26. What number multiplied times six that got me 26? Again, I, I could pull up the table. What number times six equals 26? So as I look along this row, I'm looking for, oh, I found it, there it is. So yeah, six times 14 would get me 26. That's how I can use the multiplication table to do this problem. So I'm now going to tap on the 14 and that will get me that number. And finally, let's see, well, not finally, I'm not done, but I'm not gonna do the entire thing for you. You're gonna have to cut, find a couple of things, okay? So uh, 23 was arrived at by multiplying by six. So I need to divide. Uh, I have to ask myself what number times six equals 23, take 23 divided by six, sure. So, but again, what number times six gets me 23? Go back to the table. What number equals 23 when multiplied by six? Oop, here it is, right over here, the 28. Six times 28 would get me 23. So I'm going to put 28 in that box. Oops, I already did 14, didn't I? Ha ha, there it is. Do you think you can do the last two? I'll tell you obviously once you have these uh once you have all six of those then you can go back through and type in the letters obviously the six is going to be the g the 14 is going to be the o the 28 is the space and so forth i'm going to leave you those last two uh, characters to find on your own again uh go to the table and find where you multiply by six to get 20 and 17. do you see them 20 17. What number multiplied by 6 to make 20? What number multiplied by 6 to make 17? That's what you're going to fill in on those blanks. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and I will see you next time.